Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission completion video. We have an absolute treat for you today, a really cool Orlock gang from Necromunda uh, with loads of cool little details on all these models. We're back in a second to have a look at them in loads more detail. See you guys back in a sec. So let's dive in and have a look at this awesome Orlock commission. It's been completed by Terry, one of the artists here at Siege, uh, who had a great time working on it with all the awesome little details, uh, a little bit of freehand that you'll see in a minute, and also the awesome bases with those green glows. Uh, so let's dive in and have a look. Uh, pull up the first one from the gang, one of the heavier weapons, really, really cool here. He's got a great beard, as you can see as well, uh, and they've got this great sort of um, support for his arm to sort of aid him in carrying the weight of the weapons. Uh, he's got that on both arms, as you can see, they're really, really cool. Uh, almost looks like a smart gun from Alien, which is really, really cool. Uh, Move Ren's got his goggles there, as you can see, but all the eyes and everything fully picked out. Everything's highlighted, multiple colours. You've got some lovely, lovely uh, smooth and crisp painting on these models here, as you can see. And you've got these really cool bases here that you can see with this green glowing ooze and liquid. Uh, maybe it's radioactive, maybe not. Uh, so that's just the first one. We'll move from uh, right to left, just so you can see through another one of the chaps here in the gang. All the eyes and everything painted, all the hair with a lot of texture on it, which is really nice. Uh, some chevrons on the knee pad as well, just all freehanded on there. Uh, and all the edging and everything done on all the models, as you can see, barrels drilled on all the guns as well. We'll pull forward uh, the gang leader. Uh, now this gent has got a little bit of freehand that you'll see in a second. He's obviously got a bit of a combi weapon there. So you've got a melter sort of weapon there, as you can see. I think it's a bolt gun as well. Uh, and obviously all the uh, areas of detail work fully picked out, fully highlighted, teeth, eyes, and hair and everything. And then moving around the back, we've got the Orlock gang symbol that, uh, that's been freehanded free onto the underneath of his sort of... Uh, uh, armor but on the leather jacket that he's wearing kind of like a bit of a biker gang i think our client wanted with this uh with this gang which is really cool uh so we've terry's just gone in and freehanded that symbol there on the back as you can see uh really really cool models so that's just the gang leader and then we'll pull forward uh, another one of the gangers here again you can see everything fully picked out fully highlighted there in a lovely crisp fashion so that's just another one there the base really cool with some rust and a bit of uh, glowing green ooze uh so that's just him uh last gin from the front again he's just shooting someone there giving someone a very bad day uh, again, you've got more chevrons there on the knee pad as well and all the skin and everything with some nice tonal properties and tonal values there just to really give it a soft feel, which is uh, quite nice. So that's just him. The other heavy there going from left to right now at the back. We've got this guy who's got this awesome harpoon looking weapon. Uh, would not be, want to be on the receiving end of that. <laughs> and again, he's got those uh, support sort of servo arm things there just to help him carry the weight of the weapon, which is really cool. A little bit of attention to detail and uh, just interest to the model there. Knives and sort of stubbage and bits and bobs all over him as well. Well, he's got a nice satchel there, as you can see. Uh, you've got some, some of those chevrons as well on the knee pads. Um, and then just the other chap here. Have a look at him, obviously running forward. It looks like he's uh, about to fire or charging forward, which is really nice. Nice red and black complementary there. It just really works nicely as well, as you can see. So that's just him. Uh, I would say that this is like the second in command of the gang, just because he looks uh, fairly sort of, uh, doesn't care about anything, just sort of firing away there with one gun in the air. Uh, but also would make a great sort of uh, second in command for your gang. Again, really, really cool model. Awesome pose. He's got a great tash and beard combo with a side swept hairdo. But you can see all the hair individually picked out there on the head as well, which is really nice. More chevrons on the knee pad there as well, which is really cool. Uh, and then we'll pull forward the penultimate one. Uh, again, there, all the eyes and everything picked out, goggles and everything. And he's just bounding forward there about to sort of engage someone which is really cool the bases again you can see all that rust and everything all over the base and that green glowing ooze and then the final chap from the gang uh, we've got this awesome dude here that looks fairly fairly stoic uh, just uh, scouting around perhaps again there as you can see all the barrels drilled on the weapons and everything neatly and cleanly picked out on this lovely lovely Orlock gang uh, again just to give you another look at those awesome bases a little bit of blood on some of them as well just uh, he's obviously uh, dispatched somebody there as you can see uh, so that's just him and that's the Orlock gang in all its glory guys I do hope you've liked it it's been an awesome project to work on we're going to finish up now by having a look at them again very quickly and just summarize how you can get a gang with us if you're interested see you guys back in a second So thanks for checking the video out guys, I really appreciate it greatly and I do hope you've liked this Orlock Necromunda gang that Terry had a pleasure of working on. Uh, really cool models and I do hope you like them. If you're interested in a gang commission for Necromunda, then all you need to do very simply is go to the description of this video where there's a link to the contact form on the Siege website on the contact tab. Uh, that contact form has various drop down options uh, which you need to just select that are relevant to your commission. Uh, and in the message section, there's a message layout or format that we need a, your list of models. 
copy that in or you know copy the format for your models and send that off to us to get the process started also in the description of this video you can find all the links to our social media which please could give us a follow and a like on both uh, twitter facebook and instagram respectively uh, you can keep up to date with all the things that we're doing as a business and all the projects which we complete and behind the scenes and all those kind of things uh, and what finally while you're here on youtube do us a huge favor there's a couple of things that really help us out and allow you to keep up to date with everything that we're doing firstly give the video a thumbs up because it really helps us second if you collect Nectarmunda, let us know in the description what game you collect. It's always interesting to see what, what the you know, games you guys are interested in and, and what you collect. And finally, give us a subscribe so you can keep up to date with all the videos that we put up. And if you do hit the bell icon, you will get up notified of all the new uploads that we do. Uh, and that will keep, keep you up to date with everything that's happening here at Siege. So thanks ever so much for watching the video. I do hope you liked it and I'll see you on the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye.